what is up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be opening some magic in this particular video we're going to be opening up the brothers war and dominaria united so all of these are jumpstart packs which pretty much means you're getting i believe two boosters each with 20 cards and then you can shuffle them together and just play right away with a 40 card deck uh, at least that's what it says at the back here and you would be getting two traditional foil land cards as well so I don't really know how the uh, actual product is uh, composed itself but I guess that's just something that you have to uh, open up to find out so with that being said I have all of these here I mean since I don't know what to really think about this, I'm just going to open them up. So we have two of these. I'm going to open up one of the Brothers War and then we'll alternate with uh, the Dominaria one. Uh, both of these sets I have yet to actually open up because uh, the last set I actually opened up for Magic was maybe uh, Midnight Hunt or Crimson Vow. Uh, so definitely a while back I've missed out on a few sets and uh, now it's kind of like in that phase of uh, catching up to the actual game itself with uh, what I can actually uh, obtain but yeah let's see what's actually in here so that's pretty much it really the inside is all empty now and you essentially get two jumpstart packs so it's really interesting uh, the way they've actually done things but you know what let's just uh, open it up and see what we actually have so first pack uh yeah i mean let's just begin so over here we have our first card power stones uh not entirely sure what that means but it is like an actual card itself uh and then we have a few of these here i'll just keep going until we find something significant spot Thopter, which is an uncommon um so that's all right i guess but uh we just see here I don't know how they actually decided on what to put in here. Is it randomized? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we open up the next one. But we have a Geology Enthusiast here as our rare. We have Thrawn Spider as a rare as well, so that's really nice. And I'm assuming the rest of these are lands. Yeah, it is. So the purpose of this is kind of like to build up a deck. Uh, so they give us enough lands here to actually play. So there's 8 lands, which means we get 12 regular spells. And uh, yeah, 2 of these happen to be foil lands, so that's actually really nice. So honestly, getting these jumpstart packs might not be the worst thing if you actually want to just build up a nice uh, foil land uh, collection, you know, just so that you could play. So yeah, that's definitely really interesting. Uh, but with that being said, I haven't really got anything uh, to really say about this because of it being so uh, odd to me, you know, just the way it's been uh, designed in a way. Uh, over here we have Unearth, which seems like it's a uh, black card, um, or related card that is. Um, so again, similar case, we have some really interesting choices here of uh, cards and I just don't really know what to think. At least this one here is focused on all black. This one is focused on all blue. So I don't know. It really does seem randomized. So there we go. Look at that. We have a mythic here. Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. I don't know uh, how good this card is, but uh, I guess you guys could actually tell. I mean, Menace is not bad and lifelink is pretty nice as well plus you have ward so i guess that's not too bad of a card at all uh whether or not it's worth a lot that's gonna be dependent on uh what comes up when i find the price of it uh, but with that being said again we have two more foil lands at the end and both are for black so really nice really fun i mean i always just um, welcoming of foil lands so with that being said uh, it'll be fun to see what we get in the next one so gonna set these aside here and let's open up Dominaria United now so it seems like the two that we opened up here allows us to combine the black and the blue decks together and this essentially gives us a 40 card deck to actually play with uh, blue black so that's fairly interesting there um, so now let's find out what we actually have in Dominaria. 
Again, another set I have not opened yet, so I'm really excited to see what's actually in here. Again, similar case, there's nothing left in the box. It's just the two packs here, so I can't wait to actually open this up and see what we have. So, uh, we have over here a Mystic Mischief, which is related to blue, so I assume the whole deck is going to be blue here. Um, let's find out. And even then, I'm not even sure if these cards have been randomized as well. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting once we open up that one. Uh, but we have over here two rares, Voldalian uh, Mindsinger and Cosmic Epiphany, which is uh, really nice. We also have some island cards. Uh, I like this one here, this Alterna art. That's definitely really unique, really nice. Don't know if that's unique to just Dominaria or if that's like included with Brothers War as well, if that's going to occur, but who knows. Uh, and over here we have our two island foil cards, which is again just a really nice card, set of cards to actually get. So there we go, we have uh, a blue. And now let's see what we have in this particular pack here. Uh, and see whether or not it's actually going to repeat that pattern. Is it going to be uh, black cards or is it going to be something different? Um, just wondering what the pattern is. So there you go, we actually have our uh, white. Uh, Coalition Legion, so it's really different, um, but let's see what we actually have in this particular one here. Prayer of Binding, and we have Join Forces, as well as Love Song of Night and Day. Here's our two rares, so we have our Valiant Veteran and Sarah Redeemer. Very nice, we have our lands. Um, another Alterna Art one as well, I really like these. And then we have our two foil lands at the back as well uh, absolutely stunning artwork by the way these look really nice um, and being in foil as well it just it's absolutely amazing it actually really makes me want to go out and buy a lot more of the uh, jumpstart sets or jumpstart packs uh, because of what you could potentially get in these you know they're, they're definitely really nice um, I don't know like nice compositions of what the contents would be in this particular product and uh, just being able to get foil lands being able to get some randomized cards that could potentially be mythics which we managed to get in uh, one of them uh, is quite nice as well so let's just see what we have next here i think this is a great way to introduce people into the game uh, while keeping up the excitement where they can actually just uh, get some really interesting cards here. So there we go, two more packs of the Brothers War. Let's find out and see what we actually get in this particular one. So I'll open this up and we have here green. So this is Titanic. And now let's see what we actually have in this particular one here. So I'm looking through and we have our first rare which is our woodcaller automaton um, and we have fade from history so there we go um, I believe it was already specifically stated that we would get at least two rares in every single pack and there was a chance that you could get a mythic or higher so yeah it it's definitely something that uh, would be guaranteed to a certain degree but over here two more foils absolutely fantastic uh these cards yeah i mean they have really amazing artwork so i can't wait to obtain like a full set of actual foil lands you know that would be uh, quite fun indeed so yeah let's find out what we have now in this particular one last pack for today guys we have oh red welded that's very interesting so let's see what we have in this particular pack so for this one, our first rare is uh, Artificer's Dragon, and we have here Tyrant of Kerr Ridges, so that's really interesting there. Uh, but just two rares, and then we have our Mountains, um, no alternate artworks, but we have our two Foil Mountains, which is uh, definitely very nice. It does seem like there is only the two different artworks that you can potentially get. Uh, but that's okay, it just makes it all the more um, 
easy, I guess, in a way, to collect a full set of those particular lands in that particular artwork. Uh, but yeah, this was definitely really fun, uh, definitely really um, interesting to see what was actually inside each of these packs. But uh, with that being said, let me know your thoughts. Is it actually worth buying these? Uh, of course, it depends on where you live. It depends on what prices are charged for each of these. So with that being said, would you guys actually buy these or would you just stick to buying singles? You know, I mean, this is something that just seems really fun for someone like me who has not really played magic for long and as a result i don't really have much of an archive of cards and so i just want to build up as much of a collection as possible to then have a greater variety of cards to actually start building decks with and that's just something that i like to do you know uh, but yeah with that being said let me know your thoughts otherwise thanks for joining me today i hope you all have a great day i'll see you all next time